So decoder is actually the opposite of uh, encoder. So meaning that the function of decoder is to translate from VCD code or from binary to decimal. Uh, encoder previously used to convert from decimal to binary. Okay, but uh, decoder is opposite, so meaning that uh, it used to translate from binary to decimal. So VCD codes or binary is on the left of decoder and the output lines are on the right. So for decoder, only one output line will be activated at one time. Okay, for example, if you have PCD code 0011, okay, this input will be activated the decimal tree. So we look at uh, how we can design uh, the circuit for decoder. Okay. So uh, decoder have uh, several types okay, uh, for the input based on the input and also the output. So decoder, okay, we have uh, two four decoder, three eight, four ten, and lastly we have four sixteen. Okay, four sixteen. So this is the category of decoder. So the first value in front is actually referring to the input or in this case is actually referring to the number of bits in binary okay and then the value on the right okay for example 4 8 10 16 okay so this value represented the number of decimal okay how many decimal numbers okay for each decoder so we look at the first example which is 4 10 decoder okay for 4 10 decoder this is the diagram for the decoder okay uh, for 4 10 we have four input okay a b c d and then we have 10 output okay, represented by decimal number so the first step is the truth table so this is the truth table for decoder so actually if you refer to this uh, truth table is uh, opposite of the truth table for encoder okay so the input we have four input a b c d so this is actually d okay not b okay. so meaning that uh, you have four bit of binary so you just list down all four bits okay starting with zero 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 until the last one is one zero zero one okay uh, because uh, your output must equal to 10 values okay, starting from 0 until 9 okay? and then for each uh, binary representation or BCD representation okay, so there, uh, this will be activated only one decimal number okay, for example for the first binary okay, 0, 0, 0, 0 is equal to decimal zero so that's why zero will be activated okay so the other numbers is uh, off okay not activated okay for, for the second row okay zero 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 one so zero 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 one in binary is actually equal to decimal one okay so that's why one will be activated okay so at one time only one decimal number will be activated okay for each output so this is for the first step how you can derive the truth table for decoder okay. next step okay the expression okay so the output expression is actually the same way how you uh, derive the expression for sop okay so you must remember the sop expression in chapter 3 so because you have 10 output so that's why you need to have 10 uh, expression okay you need to have 10 expression so for example for the first expression is for output 0 so output 0 you refer to the truth table okay so this is your first output which is 0 so what is the SOP expression because your output only has one value okay that equal to one so that's why only has one product term okay which is a bar and b bar and c bar and d bar okay. if you have more than one so you need to add okay you need to plus or you need to sum okay, the product number but because each output only has only one 
uh, output okay only one output so that's why if you're referring to your equation okay so there is only one product term okay only one product term for each output okay, only one product term so you just uh, derive the equation and then after you derive the equation your last step will be uh, drawing the logic circuits okay, drawing the logic circuit so you just refer to your output uh, what what are the variables you can need to draw for each output so you just draw right so this is the, the step okay, for uh, the decoder okay we look at another example okay, so this is the decoder 24 okay so you need to design a 24 decoder okay so based on the diagram so this is diagram for uh, decoder of 24 you have two input and then you have four outputs so the first step you need to derive the truth table so this is the truth table okay uh, you have two inputs a and b and then you have four outputs okay decimal zero until decimal three okay first step you need to list down all the combination for your output same as the combination uh, truth table that you have learned in chapter 2, 3 and also chapter 4 right so you just list down all the combinations and then for each combination so what is the decimal value that will be activated okay for example for the first combination 0, 0 so 0, 0 is equal to decimal 0 so that's why 0 will be activated same goes with the second row 0, 1 so equal to decimal 1 Okay, so decimal one. Okay, and then one zero is decimal two. Okay, and then the last one 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 is decimal three. Okay, and after you derive the truth table, so you move to your expression. Okay, you move to your expression. So you have four output. Okay, based on your uh, truth table, you have four. So that's why you need to have four equations. And then what are the equations? Okay, so for each uh, output for example for the first output zero so zero okay only one output equal to one so what is the product term so the product term will be a bar and b bar so you will get a bar and b bar okay uh, and then for second output one okay so a bar and b Okay, so a bar and b and a second okay, uh, for the value of decimal 2 is a and b bar okay, and the last one is a and b okay. and then last step after you derive the equation you need to draw the logic circuit okay just follow the equation that you get okay, in your second step so this is how you design the combinational logic circuit for decoder okay you start with the truth table deriving the truth table uh, derive the equation the expression and the last one is actually the logic circuit okay the most important thing for decoder is actually you need to remember the function okay so decoder used to translate from binary so that's why your input is binary okay translate or convert to decimal number so this is how uh, we can construct okay, the logic circuit for a decoder.